¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos una vez más. El día de hoy tenemos un crack de invitado. Tenemos a Bruno, el fundador de Remark. Es, bueno, básicamente el proyecto de NFTs y posiblemente metaversos de Kusama. Entonces vamos a estar hablando de todo este tema. Hello Bruno, how are you doing? Thanks for coming. Hello, hello. I'm very well. Thank you very much for inviting me. No problem. I know uh, you have big fans here in the Spanish speaking community, so they will appreciate uh, hearing something about the project and about yourself. And that's why I wanted to start it uh, first, since I saw that you you were a Web3 Foundation alumni. So I wanted to ask you, how did you get into a Web3 Foundation? How did you get into Polkadot Kusama ecosystem? I was working on uh, an Ethereum 2.0 client with the status team where um, we were building Nimbus for Ethereum 2. And then I just got rehired from there into Web3 Foundation as a technical educator. Uh, that was basically it. Okay. And I, um, that's where I became a Kusama fan and built the rest. Excellent, excellent. That, that's a interesting, <laughs> a quick way. Uh, did you know uh, Gavin before moving to Parity or? No, not at all. I've never, I've never even spoken to Gavin in person ever, even while I was there. Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, uh, it's been a long road and uh, Kusama starting to take shape, so. I think you, you did the right decision moving away. Uh, but I wanted to ask you for the, the super project you're building. It's, it's already built. It's uh, called Remark. Uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing it well. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, what, how does it work? Because I know it's not the typical ERC standard for NFTs like 721 on, or 1155. So... What is it? How does it work? So when you have ERC-721 <clears throat> or ERC-1155, those are Ethereum standards or Ethereum virtual machine standards, where because the Ethereum virtual machine is a general purpose computer, you are always writing custom information into that computer. And so the ERC, the, the, these, these um, standards, are a way for reading that custom information from the chain. So the chain does not know what an NFT is or what a token is. It's always just custom information, just spreadsheets. And then your standards, ERC721, uh, that is just a recipe for how to read the special data out from a spreadsheet. Um, because of this general purpose nature of Ethereum, you are limited to a very primitive type of NFTs, ERC721. And ERC721 are just links to images mostly. And this is for a good reason, because if everybody started to develop their own custom type of NFT that does something special, nobody would have their NFTs on any of the popular marketplaces because the marketplace does not know which custom NFTs to support. And they, it's not worth it for them to support all of them. Um, and so the entire ecosystem there just focused on this lowest common denominator that everybody can support. And that's just links to images. And this has been working really well for them, but it's also very limiting for building NFTs that do more than just sit in your wallet. And this is why we built Remark out of frustration with the current NFTs that exist. And with Remark, NFTs are a few Uh, orders of magnitude more useful than those on Ethereum in that NFTs can own and contain other NFTs. NFTs can react to emotion by changing their appearance or, const or, 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 or content or functionality. Um, and by emotion, I mean you send them react reactions, emotes like on social media messengers. Mm -hmm. NFTs can also have multiple resources, so they have different outputs, different media to represent, depending on what context they are loaded in. NFTs can also have conditional rendering, which makes you uh, like uh, allows you to add certain logic into the 
uh, NFT that says, if this, then that. So, you know, if today is, I don't know, uh, above block number, this and that, then show this background as red or something like that. Mm -hmm. And also the NFTs, because they can do a lot of different things now, they can also be turned into fungible tokens. So like shared ownership and the shareholders can collectively issue commands to the NFT, like a community. So we can, as a, as a community, we can decide, okay, this NFT is now getting listed on the marketplace for this much money. And so as we, as a community to execute this, this is a community decision to list it that way. So it's, it's co-ownership. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. And right now it's being used more for like character images, like you said, but what other things do you think uh, could be useful for like I'm thinking maybe medical records or something like that, or what? What do you think um, is the best? I wouldn't. Use? I wouldn't use it for medical records or any kind or any kind of personal data that you need to keep private. Okay. But um, I would use it for like right now. Uh, a very obvious use case is gaming because you have an avatar that's an NFT. Then that avatar has a backpack that's an NFT. Then that backpack contains a sandwich that's an NFT, and so you have this different. Uh, NFTs within other NFTs and you have total ownership over them. Uh, another method is right now we are starting a um, reforestation effort in Portugal where we are actually planting a forest with some people and the NFT, uh, NFTs will be representing the trees with their geo coordinates. And when you buy this NFT, you will buy a seed. And as the tree grows, they will be um, communicating to us the health status of that tree. And we will be upgrading the image of that tree from seed to full tree, which you will be able to grow and help the reforestation effort. Uh, another, another approach is having reputation cards and leveling cards where you are using some sort of protocol. You get a level card that is an NFT and then you get an experience point or something like that. And so you can actually build up, level up your card and that card is your level. You can move that, you can sell that card, you can move that around to other accounts and so on. But it's basically like your passport, like your, like your DeFi, your blockchain passport with your entire reputation on it that you can take uh, with you and, and get maybe some benefits and other protocols. Um, there is also the option of building music NFTs where you have an empty music sheet NFT and then people will mint uh, vocals bass, instrumentals, and everything into that NFT. Then if you turn that into tokens with shared ownership, uh, the community can decide where each note goes, where each track goes. And in the end, you end up with a collaborative composition that can be played like an MP3. And that can also distribute royalties to everybody who has shares whenever it's sold. Uh, same thing with movies. You, you now have transparent movies that you can layer on top of each other and create composable movies with that, with clips that are affected by the conditional rendering. So uh, something like that Bandersnatch movie on Netflix, mm -hmm. only this time you, can, you as the owner can pick the direction of the movie because you have a variable that you can affect or maybe inside that says, if this NFT got 50 sunglasses emojis, then pick this route. And if this NFT got 50 rocket emojis, then pick this route. And so there's a lot of potential here because you end up putting these, we call them NFT Legos. You end up putting these Legos together into very complicated systems that can do a lot of wonderful things that we haven't even thought of yet. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a tool that can be very flexible for many use cases. I'm yep. definitely excited for, for music NFTs or, or movies. Like you said, that's uh, two different... Uh, areas of interest that call my attention. And I wanted to ask you, uh, Kusama, uh, Remark is for Kusama. I wanted to ask you if it's possible to use it with the Polkadot chain as well. Um, it could be used in its current format with Polkadot already, but we don't see a reason to do that because right now it's written as basically a hack on Kusama but we are now rewriting it as co smart contracts and as plugins for the various parachains connected to Kusama. And uh, as soon as that rewrite is ready, 
yes, any parachain on Polkadot will also be able to use it. Okay, okay. And tell me a little bit more about this expansion to smart contracts. Uh, how does the expansion of Remark to the EVM chains look like? Uh, you're, I thought I I read that you're thinking Moon River, but I also read something about maybe Phantom. So what can you tell me about the, the expansion? Uh, so our first target is Moon River because we got a grant from the Moonbeam Foundation to rewrite the logic as contracts. And so we are going to be first deploying there. Mm -hmm. um, also the multi-chain potential of Moon River is, is tremendous. So it makes sense as a first deployment. But as soon as we have those contracts ready, they will automatically become compatible with any EVM chain. And we're already in talks with projects on other chains that are uh, sick of having to develop their own custom stuff and then not be supported by marketplaces. They want to use the remark contracts. And so this is why several projects are already interested in transitioning to remark for their, um, like one, one big area of interest is just item economy. When you have NFTs that can own other NFTs and equip them to change their visual uh, design, then you basically end up with a set of items that are compatible with a project. But if you make them compatible with a future project and then later a new project comes out and then you make them compatible with that one as well, what you're really doing is you're making, you're causing a great demand for all of those NFTs because now they are compatible, not just with one project, but with two, with three projects. And so suddenly if you have like a, like an item like this legendary poop, uh, you can equip it into one character, but also if you now support it in three different projects, there are only six of these NFTs uh, minted. And if you have like seven projects that are compatible with it, by definition, one of them cannot have one of these inside of itself, inside of its universe. And so this is a high, like very deflationary approach to NFT equipables. Okay, okay. And what about, uh... Can, could like anyone, once you deploy on Moon River and you, your contracts are public, do you think people would will copy the technology like maybe like fork it like sushi swap or something like that or? Absolutely, um, they, they most definitely will. Um, there's, there's no doubt that they will try to try to make copies that are not, you know, approved by us, uh, we will launch these contracts under a license that requires approval from us. Okay. Um, so similar to, you know, like I think SushiSwap, I think Uniswap is doing or, or someone, someone, someone else, I forget who. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yearn, Yearn actually, I think. Um, we will launch it under such a, such a license because we do want to, you know, get something out of it. Um, but in general, we will be open source and people can just copy them over. I'm more personally interested in people just using better NFTs than what they have been so far. So even if that works out, that's, that's great as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, more, more, more people using our protocols, even if it's not ours, but a copy of ours, will yeah. mean that more people will find out about our, our stuff. And so that's, I think, I think a win for everybody. For sure. You will, you will open up Pandora's box with that. Yeah. And uh, when do you think, or do you think we will see CryptoPunks be able to change like their accessories as well with uh, the Remark standard at some point? So for this to be possible, you need to have the source assets that were used to compose the images. And so if they didn't save the, you know, like the cigarette or the hoodie or the sunglasses separately, then you can't do that. Um, well, you would have to redraw this and going through, you know, like 20,000 punks uh, to redraw everything. <laughs> it's not exactly, not exactly, not exactly very easy. So if they have the original assets, yes, easily, very easily. If they don't, mm, not, not that easy. Okay. Okay. That, that was something that I was uh, thinking maybe it's possible right like you said but difficult if you didn't set it up that way in the first place yep. and uh what about the uh, canary birds what is the future with with the birds i know if i'm mistaken correct me but there are the first uh, nfts on the remark platform or or not they're they're not the first nfts on the remark platform 
they are the first Remark 2.0 NFTs. So they are the first um, pilot project and main product of the advanced NFT Legos. Uh, so originally we had just simple NFTs plus emotes, plus reactions. Mm -hmm. And then we evolved the protocol into Remark 2, which allows you to support these nested NFTs, these operations that I mentioned. And so Canaria is all of those Legos put together into a very advanced project. Um, so they are the first NFT project of that type in the world, not just on Remark, um, sure. Remark's application, Remark's protocol. Um, but the first NFTs on Remark will be Axiom on Twitter. Um, he started experimenting with them way before even a single UI existed for this. Mm. Um, and it was really interesting what, what, he, what he came up with, some 3D models. Um, so kudos, kudos to that pioneer. Nice. So, so what do you, what what do you think will do? You, are you going? Are you planning to take the Canara birds in the whole ride in the whole Rune or Remark uh, legacy? <laughs> of course, uh, of course. Um, yeah, the plan for the Remark birds is actually to launch this metaverse that we've had planned for a very long time now in 2022. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to take the opposite direction of everybody else. And we are not going to be building a 3D metaverse in the browser, mm -hmm. but are going to go the hyper casual route so that it's more user friendly to everybody else who is not a gamer um, and to mobile devices and everything else like that. So this should be fairly interesting. We are working now on some concept art and the post should be out this week, unless you know the markets completely melt down and, and <laughs> everybody goes to winter sleep. Okay, okay, interesting. And that metaverse, uh, I saw that you posted on Subsocial, uh, will it be hosted on BitCountry? Uh, that's, that's another one. So we will have a presence in BitCountry. That's the three, metaverse and we will okay. be there in some format so we'll build i will have a large parcel we will build an hq there we will have a a place for others to hang out in and to to you know visit the metaverse and everything and and to showcase their nfts from remark okay. uh, but our metaverse will be unrelated to that and completely different and will come much later okay okay that's uh that's interesting uh to difference that but i cannot wait to see that uh, project evolve and uh, I wanted to ask you, is that right now there's a drop, there's the Dino, Dino X Dino drop. I wanted to ask mm -hmm. you, is that a, an official Remark collection? No, no, okay. we just partnered with them. This is a, this is a client launch. Uh, so we do these okay. client launches. We have, um, we have this kind of, in a way, white labeling ability to just, you know, whenever somebody wants to launch something with us, they provide mm -hmm. us with the art. And we will just mint everything for them, set up the sale for them, maintain the sale for them, and manage the project for them until the fundraise is over. Okay, okay, interesting. And uh, is uh, the, there are these gems, right, that they share revenue? Is that revenue shared from the from the marketplace or for everything that's involved with the remark? Um. Almost everything. So you, uh, we, we, we take 19.7% of all total revenue we earn from staking our treasury okay. and from all the commissions on all of our marketplaces and all our royalties. And this is then divided um, among these uh, nerds and gem holders. So these are special gems, non-transferable NFTs inside of the Canaria birds. And so you cannot move these gems out you cannot trade them. And this is by design so that the birds have some value, even if you strip them of all of their items and sell them separately. Okay, okay. So there's no plan for making the gems tradable? No, no. Okay. If, if you want to trade the gem, you need to trade the bird. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, the other day I checked uh, in the evening, late uh early morning there was someone who sold uh one of the of the birds uh with a gem for like four ksm and uh yeah i wasn't quick enough to buy it but yeah that was a, a lucky move for it. What, whoever bought that that's uh that's really cool uh what do you think 
because some of the gems don't uh, don't have a special function right now for many of the gems. Mm -hmm. why, why are you planning for that? Um, we want to first transition to Moon River. Okay. And uh, there we will get the logic needed to implement the gems marketplace and everything else. So this is going to be a special marketplace that lets you trade the the current gems that you have in your inventory for other traits that you can use on your bird. So uh, you have like something like vouchers right now in the bird, and then you will use that voucher to buy a new feature. Okay, okay. Interesting. And do you plan uh, doing any, any more official remark drops in the future? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we will have plenty of new drops. We will have monthly monthly uh, profile picture banners so that you can put banners into your profile. We will be releasing a new open collection on Remark 2.0 as soon as Remark 2.0 is ready on Singular. Okay. Uh, so we are moving that functionality over right now. We'll release these uh, chunkies, uh, fat little humanoid characters, uh, but we will have them completely open to the community. So anybody can build any equipable item for them. And we are very excited to see what that's going to look like in terms of what people come up with for items and equipables. We're also planning to make some of the items that are right now compatible with Canaria compatible with that Chunkies project so that the item set will be shared. Okay, okay. And could people do their own items in the future and build them so they can add them to, the, to a Canaria yes. bird or whatever? For, for Canaria bird, you have to be partnered up with us because okay. Canaria have a white, white listing process where you have to be allowed to mint items that are equipable on Canaria. Okay. Um, for the Chunkies, anybody will be able to build and draw anything they want. Okay, okay. Interesting. And that will be in singular when they that will be happens. In singular. Yep. Okay, excellent. And uh, I wanted to ask, is people coming to remark <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Is uh, Beeple? Uh, I oh, don't Beeple. Know. Oh, Beeple. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I can't tell you. You'll have to wait and see. Okay, okay. But uh, definitely, I think that's something that will call his attention with the innovation that's happening on Remark. So I'm excited to see that, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say that he's paying attention. Okay, okay. And... I wanted to ask you to start wrapping up. Uh, what are, what is your favorite uh, functionality, or your favorite uh, pot future potential for the for the Remark uh, platform? Is there anything that excites you most that maybe it's not there yet but will come eventually? Um, yes. So. Um... Harbinger text real estate in virtual worlds is very interesting to me as a gamer. I really like the total ownership and also self-maintaining, self-funding environments. And this is what Harbinger text virtual real estate enables. Um, and uh, the other stuff that I'm very interested in is allowing music artists to get in touch with their community much better and much faster. So like a kind of um, uh, decentralized band camp um to to let people actually you know communicate with their fan base and maybe compose with them and let them remix their songs create nfts out of that and earn royalties and everything they've done together uh, without a middleman in between to take the cut okay okay yeah i think metaverse gaming is going to be interesting and with these tools that are building up uh definitely the future is very bright with this uh is your favorite canary accessory, <laughs> Mr. Hanky? <laughs> it is very much. Okay, okay. What would you? What would be your top three besides Mr. Hanky? <laughs> um, I would say the I like the jetpack, of course. Okay. Um, and I like well, I kind of like everything I got on my on my bird. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I am. I'm also I'm also fond of um, the explosion background. That's 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 a pretty cool one. Okay. And, and uh, the palm palm on a drone, the the drone beach. I don't know what we call it, but there's a there's a palm tree and sand on a drone that you can take with you, so you always have a beach with you. 
Okay, okay, that's cool. And do you think we'll, there will be surprises for canary birds in in the near future? Maybe for or either for holders of the canary birds or holders of specific accessories? Yes. Okay, okay. Excellent. Well, I think that uh, we can wrap it up here and uh, let people uh, get their, <laughs> their eyes uh, hooked and just like wait for the future to see what's coming up next. But uh, I, I really thank you, Bruno, for taking your time. And uh, if you want to share maybe anything with the community, where can people find you or information about Remark? Um... I think we our our redesigned website is fairly informative now. So just go to rmrk.app uh, and you can find every team member there. Even uh, links to our singular profile, so you can see what NFTs we have. Um, the links to all of our socials are there as well. So just feel free to join any of them. Join us in minting and experimenting, and let's see what we can do with this you know crazy NFT world together. For sure. I, I look forward to that and uh, try the tools to build things myself as well. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.